Hey, Sean Duffy's Kawasaki, what year is that? 2007. 2007 STX 12F, uh, brand new SBT rebuild engine in it. We started up in the shop, runs good. Sorry about the lighting, that's the engine. The old engine had failed due to uh, what we're assuming is old gas, so we've corrected that problem. This motor was shipped in yesterday and we got it installed today with the help of all these guys. That's Matthew. There's Oscar, Oscar and there's Carter. And anyway, we're going to load test this thing right now in the run tank. So, Matthew, go ahead and start it up. And Matthew's got a laser in his hand. And this is a four stroke engine, non turbo. And what he's going to be looking at, he's going to be watching all the temperatures on the exhaust, the cylinder head, uh, a lot of different places he's going to be looking at. The rain has really cleaned our run tank up nicely. If it wasn't, you know, 40 degrees, well, I still wouldn't swim in it. But it's, I mean, I hadn't seen it that clean in a long time. What you got going? The flush cap was off. It's leaking water right there. You got to it back on. Oh, the flush cap was removed. And that's the water we see trickling down there. Uh, it has a hose run adapter. You can put a water hose on it. If you do that, it's just for flushing it for a few minutes. Um, I'm going to get a step aboard here and look at the gauges. Um, no, no, that's coming due. Let me see here. So it shows 56 hours on the original, on the whole ski. Of course, that's not on the engine. Idle RPMs are 1,000 to 1,100. Fuel gauge is full. It does have a full tank of gas. Matthew's looking at temperatures. What do you got there right now? 106, 111, 109, 114. The hottest spot right there is about 108. So we're within 10 or less degrees on each cylinder. And we're looking at the exhaust temperatures on each hole to make sure that uh, there's not one cylinder running hotter than another due to lack of fuel or detonation or anything. Gonna give it a little gas. Very smooth. It's very smooth and very quiet. And gonna check the temperatures again. The temperatures typically will come down a little bit. It first gets that cold water and then after it runs a little while they'll come up. Checking the muffler back there to see if the muffler temperatures are coming up too high. Of course we're looking for any leaks or anything like that. Go up here to the dash. You can see we're at about 3,000 RPMs. I'm gonna wipe my lens off just for a second. Sorry about this. Maybe it's got some cock eye on it or something. It doesn't seem to have helped. So let's, this vehicle has a built in rev limiter so it can't over rev and blow itself up. It also has oil pressure protection. And it won't run if the oil pressure is low. Bring it up a little, Matthew. It's starting to pull pretty hard in the tank. That's 4,000 RPMs. I got the throttle now. The rev limiter location. Thermostat just opened up, Matthew told me. We see some steam. Yeah, popped out. The pee hole started uh, showing as soon as the thermostat opened. That's your tattletail to show you that your cooling system is functioning. So when a thermostat opens, that thing is going to start blowing water. If you don't see water coming out of that after a few minutes, then you need to get it uh, looked at, get it to a shop or whatever. It's very responsive, very powerful. I'm gonna go back here a little bit. Matthew, Matthew.
Matthew! Hit it! Hey! From a dead idol. It sucks up in a jet pump. Oh, it sucks up in a jet pump? <laughs> what? The tank's empty. Battery's a little low. Huh. Plastic bag. Imagine that. Gonna get my feet wet here. Okay, hey, from a dead stop, punch it. All right, you hear any detonation or anything? A little bit of detonation. So we need to drain the gas again, put some fresh fuel to it. Let's hear it again. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, good deal. So we're gonna drain the gas tank on it. Um, the guy had put, the guy you had bought it from, or Sean had bought it from, had put a bunch of fresh gas in. We took a fuel sample, but apparently it's not good enough. So we're gonna get rid of that. And uh, run it again and go from there. How's the temperatures though? Never got over 120 degrees. Never over 120, okay, good.